After the lights go down low uh, 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 Baby, you'll know There'll be no reason for teasing me so And when the dancing is through And folks will be few I'll be here sitting with no one but you Two thousand years later Let's denote D is a linear transformation in Rn. So actually what it does, it takes the vector in Rn and it transforms it to another vector in Rn by applying Z transformation. But how it is actually obtained, for example if we fix the basis, let it be S0, so S0 is E1, E2, up to EN. For particular basis, we have a particular matrix that is called transformation matrix. So in this case, we have A0 is a transformation matrix, and uh, DX is actually nothing else than A0 multiplied by X with respect to basis S0. But what if we want to change the basis? If we consider the basis S, which is some set of independent vectors V1, V2 and so on to up to Vn, and we want to find A, which is a transformation matrix with respect to S. What it actually does, it's transforms the vector in S vector in Rn with respect to S in another vector so it is dx with respect to basis S and this transformation is nothing else than that matrix A applied by X with respect to S. But how do you find matrix A? There is an easy formula for that. And uh, P from S to S0 is nothing else than matrix, columns of which consist of that vector V1 v2 and so on to vn and the uh, p s0 s is actually uh, p s to s0 inverse it's very easy to see that such matrix is always invertible because uh, its columns are linearly independent as v1 v2 up to vn is basis vectors now our problem is so easy to solve. So for example we have this problem. We have A0 which is a transformation matrix uh, with respect to basis S0 and we have new basis which consists of vectors V1 and V2 and we need to find 
a matrix A, which is transformation matrix in res with respect to this basis. So what do we do? Well, first of all, we recall our formula. We need to find our P as 0 to S and P S to S0. We know that P as 0 to S is nothing else than a matrix consisting of these two vectors, which would be minus 2, 0, and 3, 3. Then P S to S0 is a another matrix and is inverse of this matrix. So P S to S0 would be equal to 1 over determinant of P S to S multiplied by S to the matrix of P S0 to S. Matrix P S to S0 would be equal to minus 1 over 6 multiplied by uh, 3 minus 2, 0 minus 3. Our matrix A is equal to minus 1 over 6 multiplied by 3, negative 2, and negative 3 multiplied by 0, 1, 1, 0, and according to formula, a negative 2, 0, 3, Three. So all we need to do now is just find those multiplications. So we get this matrix and this equals to A, which is a transformed matrix uh, with respect to basis this. So thank you very much for watching and enjoy your linear algebra!